Oh, I have to use, use my pussy and slap you in your, your blood clot face. But don't you ever send me a dick emoji. No fear. I go send me a dick picture. A laugh. A picture with a man. I fling him dick side to side with some la laughing emojis and all kind of things. From Mr. Gullibop number, I'm going to answer the phone. Gullibop now say morning. Him now say evening. Him just say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Bob did not eat a lot. Bob eat crumbs. Money earned from me, like a Michael Jesus. Yo, yeah, people, big up on yourself, man. At OTH TV, man. Now, where I say, yo, please like, share, and subscribe, people. And hit that notification bell, people. You don't know, I'll be a bell platform, you know, man. Yo, people, today we're going to look at Amari and react to Gullibab passing, no man. Gullibab dropping out and all of that, people. See, you know, we see Amari says, boom, no man, all about the fire pan, Nuffy and Sean at Chin, same time, you know. See, so basically, when it comes to Nuffy, Amari has said, Nuffy scenario, DICK pick, you know. She has said, Nuffy too disrespectful for her saying out them things that's so brawling. After she called Nuffy, see, when I asked Nuffy about Sting, and I said, boy, well, I should have run up on this thing against Lady Sad this year, and, and mad up Sting makes Sting have a vibes. You see me? But she I say, boy, instead I don't do that. Don't feel this woman and send her out the picture, man, with the thing I swing. You see me? And she don't like that. See? So people, Amari keep going back and forth you now and I say it's a D-I-C-K pick. And then she go again and says a D-I-C-K emoji. So we are trying to figure out which one she really attack people. And then when it comes to Shana Chin, she has said, boy, Shana Chin says, boy, man, I have a post, Gullibap, or nothing, I react to Gullibap passing and all of them things there. See, some people go jump in the reason, man, and hear where Amari has said, people, because you don't know it go. You see nothing, and somebody will me read, but nothing, you know what you do the other day, you know, say so you're frustrated and it gonna cause a debate. Me send a message to nothing and me say, listen, I want to go up against Marianne all. Pants think it would be the biggest thing because you know, say so Marianne all are the real legend. You understand? So me need to step up to her. Me need to even go in our class. You understand? Me need to go in our classroom. Me need, since as them tell me last year, so me feel act like Marianne all. This year, me want to see Marianne all and for she test my skills. So me want to go up and sting with Marianne all. And me say, no fi, line up the thing. Me want to go up and sting with Marianne all. You know, I say, no fi. Yes, you no fi. And me now I got this, you can respect you. No fi, I go send me a picture, a laugh. Picture with a man, a flinging side to side with some la laughing emojis and all kinds. Me say, no fi find time for send six laughing emoji, but the one when, where you send with the dick that violate. Don't come at me like that, my lord. You understand? Respect. My other mother are 13. You understand? Respect this divinity. Mother are not. Me is God ordained. You understand? I felt really offended, especially like, oh, I was discussing a topic in regards to making things successful this year because there is no you without me. I may mean, I tell you straight up sting, there is no sting this year without Amari. You understand? So it's like we are line up with things for Africa and everything. And me say, me can't live out me Jamaica. If me even have to fly from Africa and go to Jamaica and the pan sting, and nothing I got to send, it emoji, a laugh. And I could, I could understand if he sent it and then him say, all right, and we look into it. Because every day, Every day, don't know, say, all our Mari antics is for promote sting. That is what I don't understand. Every day, give me permission for done him. Yes? May I forget permission from every day. That's why Amari is bold for say, Hey, boy, Leng, may I go up, up your clot? I get permission to act that way. So, I don't know why at the end of the day, the maga say, them not pay me. Because me, then send me for fight. Them send me for perform. They never put me past thing for fight. They not pay me for fight. After them says a clash and them put me in the dog ring and everything. You understand? I, with, I mean, nobody need a go a sting last year. I mean, make everybody turn up for sting. People wait till the last minute to make sure me I go there Jamaica before them buy them ticket. And, and sting will tell you that. Every day admit that. Leng admit that. Nothing admit that. 
them admit it. I don't know if nothing has gone because I don't see no promotion on them wall. But I give them the idea to make the money just like how I give them the idea last year. I tell them, say, just leave me alone. Let me be a married. Let me do my thing. I promise you, this thing I go pack and the same thing go down. The biggest thing, because I'm the biggest marketer. Let me keep silent about that. You get me? All right. Me get up this morning and I said, they're not paying me now. And if me act too desperate this year, I doubt them more if you act desperate. So that's they're not paying me at all, at all, at all. Because them did, them did give me something. But them never fully pay me. But this time, me don't know where them up to. But let me tell you something. Nothing don't respect. You see me? You see me? People are going to want to come through you later on and beg you to talk to Amari for the pandemic show. Me. The stone that the builder refused. Mm? You see, on this walk to success right now, may I pick and choose who to remember. Of course, nothing may have to remember you. Of course. But don't you ever send emoji. Because the way, the next thing people are going to see me come online line and say me, and, and hear me say, more have to use, use my thing and slap you in your blood face. And them not going to understand, say, how you start it by sending me an emoji where you have a slap, slap this woman in our blood face, the dick emoji. You don't do that shit. Respect, my lord. I'm, I'm shedding pain, hurt, confusion. I'm shedding all these spirits. You know, I'm coming home back to myself. I'm taking back my pride, my dignity. Because Bob was the type of person that was very convincing. No one had time to listen to me, to believe me. They would hear me, but they didn't listen. So it was easy for him to get away with, with so many things. So many things, you know? And it's like, as I go further away from his death, as time goes by, I will say all the devil things that he did, but not now. Not now. People, people would say that I'm a hater. You know, the time is not right. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not going to say good, 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 good in the next coming days. I'm going to say how I feel. And this is how I feel. You know, I met this person. He opened up doors for me. Doors that were closed. He blessed me with his presence. Without him, I don't think so many people would have known of Amari. I traveled to many countries, Germany, Turkey, Africa. People think I only go to Africa. I've traveled to so many countries. And even the immigration knows Amari and Gulliba. Everywhere I go, you know, and um, it it w couldn't have happened unless it was Bob. I remember one time Shauna Chin came out and said that um, she don't want her name to be affiliated with Bob. And I'm like, what? Who would have known you without Bob? You know, and there's this... Um, this blogger that recently said that, you know, they went on Chani Chin's page and, you know, she hardly made mention of Gullibob, if, if at all. And it's too early in the morning for me to cuss it. Too early in the morning. How can you not remember our father? How? It seems like the blessing didn't rub off on you. We are his protege, but then again, you're no real artist. How could you not remember him? Huh? 
you who got the best of him. You think Bob don't tell me everything? <laughs> I'm not going to keep your secrets. I'm going to let it all out. So me. As if you see Tasha K written on my forehead. So me. <laughs> Which can ever come to America. Mm. You can have a land here. I, I tell myself that maybe she'll come around. You know, but bitch ain't got no come around to come around. Uh, you think I forget that you call the CPS on me? Go as far as to tell someone in America to make the call for you because you can't make the call from Jamaica? All that you put me through. Yeah. <laughs> ah, funny that Bob left me. I predicted it to him. I say, now you're back on your feet. You're going to go back to China Chin. But it's going to be the biggest mistake of your life. I woke up one morning and there he was in your bed. And I was like, spitful. The girl who basically destroyed him. He went back to her. And you all expect to go viral the next day. You all expected it to go viral. You expected the star and the gleaner to say, Johnny Chin and Gully Bob is back. Didn't happen. Nobody didn't care. Ugh. And so it flopped. And he didn't know where to go. Because at that time, Amari seriously would not take him back. No, because when you destroyed Galiba, especially with voodoo, I was the one who prayed for him. Do you know how many candles I light for him, bath him, fed him, dress him? Mm. I remember going to my grandma's grave and I was like, and my grandfather's grave, I was like, Papa. I know you got blessings for me, but give it to Bob. And I was like, Bob, will you remember us when you get back on your feet? I, I was like, Bob, you ain't, you ain't even got to remember me. Just remember the kids. And he was like, no must. No must Amari. Me get back on my feet after the padlock. Me get back on my feet. Me not forget to you with them. Then I ended up. On the streets, Nico. And I was like, Gully Bob, can you help me? Send me something, even $50. And you say, not a bomb but You follow your friend, them. Mm -hmm. Nico, you mash up my life. Oh, you mash up my life. Mash up my life. Yeah, that's what you did. Me never knew, say you done so. Me never knew, say you are drunk, girl. What me say? One day you are gonna get for, for, for Bob suffering. You gotta answer to that. For Bob, Gully Bob didn't have to suffer. I'll leave it at that. And yes, Gully Bob is guilty of many things. He, he's, he's just like a kid that is mischievous. But that pure art, you're going to have to answer to it. That art that is filled with generosity, you're going to have to answer to it. Yeah, and this bimbo pastor going around. I'm the one who gave the gleaner and the star your phone number yesterday. Because I figure you got something to say. But don't think you can get up from this. Because I'm the same one going to tell you, shut up. You get what I'm saying? I'm the one. Because there was a time when you want to use this gully bop thing for I'm talking about. Amari, can I come on your platform and do an interview? Interview me about my old platform. Me tell her, say, free biz day, I so. Eh? I'm the one. But let me ask you a question. How comes my godfather did in at the hospital and you never tell no one? 
we're all crying for Bob. I want, I want to thank you. I want to take the time out to thank you, beautiful people. And when I say beautiful, I mean you're so beautiful. Don't, don't be distracted by that one person in the comment box talking about why you didn't help him. That's just somebody who wanted to use me. You understand? All in the name of Bob and all in the name of God to have me sending them money. To call me every second say, Bob is sick, he can't talk to you. Send him some money, send some money. And you know how Mari ain't going to let nobody use her like that. Because you know I helped a lot of you during COVID. So it was nothing to send money to a man that I love. But then people wanted to use us. You understand? So if you see the comment box about Amari not helping Gullibob, they're talking about recently when they tried to really scam me. You get what I'm saying? And I had to run. You get what I'm saying? But I want to thank you for loving Gullibob. Despite his flaws, there was something about Gullibob that was like Honey and Bee. You, 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 just, you just could not stop loving him. And I want to make a confession, neither could I. I couldn't stop loving him. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Gully Bob is the king of the internet. You know, but to be serious, we got to put God first. God is the king of the universe. But you know what I mean. You know, and on his behalf, I want to tell you that Gully Bob loves you. Gullibop didn't need money. All when the idiot, that pastor, had him sitting there. Did you hear Gullibop say once, Amari, help me? Did you hear him say once that he need money? He need some help from me? He didn't say that once. Not once, only Auntie Donna and her so I pushed up on her head. Amari, China Chin, in the need for help, Gullibop. And then she left off her chain at her name. Amari! Amari! Like, like me and this woman, her friend. Her blood. Yeah? Now, ladies and gentlemen, what it takes for my man to just... Ding, ding. When Gullibop want help from me, and believe me, I help Gullibop a lot. It's just, according to him, nobody's business. The way he does it. Gullibop no got you no pasta, no auntie Dana. Golly Bob just, my phone just ring. And I say, Hel hello, as a matter of fact, my phone is not a phone where regularly ring. People don't know me not talk on phone because nobody I record me. So when me see the phone say, Golly Bob, that are the one call where I marry me answer. Apart from my PR, Claude Mills, and Yasmin from the Gleaner. Or Simone from the Gleaner. You understand? Or on stage, Jason called me. Yeah, or my people, my PR from Africa. You understand? Good morning. And she had lined up everything for your Mari tour in Ghana right now. You understand? I just want you to know I didn't go to Jamaica this morning, so you can go ahead with the conference call. You get me? So, uh, Bob from Mr. Golly Bob number, I'm going to answer the phone. Golly Bob now say morning, him now say evening, him just say, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. No matter how long he's missing, him call and he say, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. My grandmother teach me say, when a person hungry, don't question it. So from him saying hungry, me now go ask him, where your money there, where you did work last year? And where all of the money there, where you go get china chin? Me is not that type of person. From him saying hungry, me say, which part you there? You there close to a Western Union or a monogram? And him will say, yeah. I said, oh, you want me to send it? You and he knows that I don't send no money in and a body name. He said, Western Union, he will go pick it up because I know that he has a passport. You understand? Because Mary bring back to America. And so I said, all right, all right. I didn't have no long talking with him because I'm hungry. And I tell him, me, me text him the number, the, the number for go pick up the money. 
me text him, him pick up the money, and me not tell a lie, but I like him for call back and say thank you, and him call back and him say thanks, him call back in the evening, and you know what do? And then call, he say, me buy some bread, but me not even eat it. Me see some picnic out the door and then look hungry. And so, me just take it and give them. But thank you anywhere. And me just smile. There's only one star in all this plot. Golly, Bop. I me mean, I tell you. Bop did not eat a lot. Bop eat crumbs. Crumbs. Love little kids just like me. So people, please like, share and subscribe and then hit the notification bell like I said at the beginning, people. I'll be right below the